What is up good people? Jungle Inc here, hope you're doing well. Last night I was in Mikkel's live stream as he was breaking down Ripple's response to the SEC in their request for a $2 billion fine. A lot of interesting stuff in there. And Ripple saying, hey, it shouldn't be more than $10 million. And they went through all the other companies within crypto that have been fined. And even people within traditional finance, no one is anywhere near $2 billion. And so they're coming up with this $10 million uh, number. Probably not going to be $10 million, Probably be higher. And it's probably going to be a heck of a lot lower than $2 billion. We'll wait to hear from the professionals here tonight. Uh, Jeremy Hogan's going to break down this latest response. But the one aspect I want to talk about, you know, yesterday in Mikkel's live stream, he read over the part that uh, Ripple is using another digital asset for U.S.-based customers. And we were kind of trying to brainstorm and figure out, you know, what would be used? What would be the best digital asset if you could not use XRP? Because again, in ODL flows, you're not required to use XRP. You can use other digital assets. Generally, XRP gives you the best performance, fast speeds, low cost, all of that. But there are a lot of instances where you might use something different. And one of them here is in the United States, while you're going through all of these legal disputes, it might be best to avoid the XRP token until a lot of this is settled. And that's what they're doing here. And so the question is, what is the digital asset that's in use? And we see here in Exhibit F, actually, immediately following the order, we took steps to migrate each U.S.-based ODL customer from using XRP as a bridge currency to using USDT, which is, of course, Tether, and we should continue to use either USDT or Bitcoin or other vetted stablecoins. So that's one of the uh, things Mikkel thought in the live stream. He's like, I bet they're using Bitcoin. I agreed because while it's not as fast and cheap as Bitcoin, it's still much faster than traditional payments that take days. And there's a lot of liquidity anywhere in the world. So I think Bitcoin makes a lot of sense. And from the same uh, side of that coin, also Tether. Again, lots of liquidity globally. A little slower, more expensive, of course, than XRP, but a valid option and one that Ripple's leveraging for their U.S. customers. I think this also shows the thing that, you know what, on-demand liquidity isn't simply a conduit to sell XRP when using XRP is not an option. ODL is still effective. They are using other crypto assets to move money. And I think that will be favorable for the judge saying, you know what? It's not just about XRP. Ripple is a real payments company. They have customers that use a variety of technologies, a variety of crypto assets, and they're willing to maneuver and adapt their business to ensure it's compliant with applicable laws in the regions they are operating. If you want more of the minutia of this uh, response, I'll link Mikkel's video down below. For myself, I'm going to wait to hear from Jeremy Hogan and some of the professionals today on Twitter, and we'll discuss uh, further, I'm sure we'll find more stuff, but I thought that was really interesting where we have this exhibit, a letter from Monica Long, president of Ripple, explaining, you know, the other crypto assets they are using in their on-demand liquidity service. A lot of people were thinking maybe it was XLM or one of the other faster cryptos, but, uh, you know, I think it's in the name, on-demand liquidity. What are the most liquid cryptos in the world that have enough volume for you to move in and out of in any market that you're trying to interact with and that's why we see tether and bitcoin being alternatives here while they're not the fastest and cheapest within the crypto landscape they have a lot of advantages over traditional finance just another option for ripple to dip into their toolbox and make effective payments let me know what you think down below as always please like please subscribe. The revolution will be televised right here on Jungle Link.